as you mark up your third anniversary, what does the future look like in terms of the innovations you're going to introduce? Thank you very much, um, and um, thank you for coming once again. Um, 20, the 25th anniversary celebration of DVLA is not just a celebration of uh, milestones or achievements of the past. It's also a period to reflect on what we have done, and most importantly, carve a way forward. And so we all know that um, we are as we call it in the fourth industrial realm right um, technology artificial intelligence is, is taking over um, every facet of our life and DVLA we don't want to be left out of this indeed uh, we have started on a digitalization path and it is a forward-looking agenda we are going forward into the future with more digitalization, we expect to digitalize most, if not all, our processes within the few years ahead. We want to see a DVLA where you sit in the comfort of your home, pick up your phone, go on an app, and you can apply, make payment for, and complete every DVLA uh, uh, service. All perhaps you would need to do is to come to our office on an appointment to for us to take your, your details, biometric details, and maybe capture you. That is all. And then deliver the product or service to you at your doorstep. This is the DVLA that we envision. We see a DVLA where someday you may be driving and a system will pick up your number plate and then the law enforcement agencies or the authorities through that process can tell who you are where you are and where to find you in case there's there's any problem on the road that is the dvla we are envisioning and so going into the future we are rolling out products and services that will meet this vision that we have set for ourselves my um, follow-up follow question would be that I come from the port sector. sector. So my, my concern would be for the cargo truckers and everything. What, what is on offer for them to make uh, their yeah, work safer, safer, but also more fulfilling, so we can get goods out of the country and into the country and make it easier? As a matter of fact, there's already a project that uh, we are going to roll out very soon, where um, uh, trackers are going to be placed on some of these uh, high uh, goods, heavy goods carrying vehicles to ensure that when they leave the ports, where they claim to be their final destination is exactly where they are headed. Uh, we all know that the government is also implementing various uh, programs to ensure that we break bulk. So, for instance, we don't need to have a cargo truck filled with heavy goods drive all the way from the ports headed for, uh, say, Niamey. For instance, driving through uh, our roads. We all know of the Pankra uh, Inland Port Project. I believe that that would come on stream very soon and is spearheaded by our minister, the Minister for, for Transport. That would help uh, ensure safety on our roads as far as uh, these uh, each, uh, GVs are, are concerned. They cause a lot of accidents, we all know. And so we believe that when that comes, it will help uh, reduce the breakdowns that we usually see, which cause some of these um, accidents. We are also uh, rolling out a project to digitize our DP plates. And so instead of DP, uh, which we all know last 14 days, uh, fixed on a car that drives out of the port, we are going to issue a sticker. And that sticker means that the details of that vehicle would already be in our database. Because that, as far as we are concerned, is the best of any vehicle in this country. That is when a vehicle enters the country. So once we are able to capture at the port all the details of the vehicle by issuing a sticker into our database, it will be very easy when the vehicle wants to come for registration. We already have the details, and so we don't need to collect any more data. We can also monitor the usage of the DP. When the 14 days expires, a prompt will be sent to the vehicle owner. Your DP has expired. You either come for DV or you register the vehicle. So all of these are innovations that we are bringing to help uh, vehicles that drive out of our ports come out uh, uh, safely.
All right, so we are um, communicating the successes for sure in the last, this last five, uh, 25 years. And uh, as a deputy chief of secretary of the operations, uh, can you tell us one of the things that has been successful if we can do more? That you can tell us. Well, I can talk of a lot more than one. But uh, for the purpose of the question, let me restrict myself to perhaps two. Um, we had a situation where we, we, we had um, our staff, employees, um, testing the eyes of prospective drivers, for instance. And um, in, in that era, whenever anybody came to our offices, all we could do was to look into a machine and then ask you whether you can see E, whether you can see B, and so on and so forth. So, uh, so on and, so forth. and we judged that to mean that the person's eye was good enough to, to drive. And so based on the, 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 the uh, uh, results, we issued driver's licenses. We implemented a reform in that area. Now we have qualified uh, optometrists and ophthalmologists testing the eyes of, of prospective drivers. We think that this is a very good uh, initiative, which, which in, would in no way help uh, our drive to reduce crashes on our road. People have developed or developed various eye defects which they, they have no knowledge of. Through this reform, we have helped a lot of drivers to correct problems that were developed in, in their eyes, which they, they, they hit to wouldn't have known. Again, we just recently introduced our vehicle registration um, system. The vehicle registration system does away with all the manual files. Previously, we register a vehicle and you are issued a form C, a form A, a vehicle registration certificate, which you use for roadworthy, and, and other documents. Now, we don't need all that. All you go away with is a smart card and then vehicle title a title certificate which represents your vehicle document so now in pre previous times when uh, even your your form c and form e were in your bag and rain was falling you 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 had to protect that bag very 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 seriously but now the car doesn't get wet and even if you lose a card you come to dvla we are able to print the card again for you. And you don't need to come to us with passport pictures and all of that. With your Ghana card, we are able to just pull your data from the Ghana card database, and then we go ahead with registration. So we are trying to make things easy for our clients. We are not there fully, but I believe that gradually we will, we will get there.